Okay, everybody ready? I'm spoiled from the past, and it's hard to put those memories. Uh, it's hard to put them away. They're my fondest One, memories. One, two, three, four. <laughs> New York Dolls' impact was a bomb going off. They came out of a New York City that was broken on the rocks. A pinhole of light in the early 70s. And Arthur. I love Arthur. 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 It would take like a deep breath, and then like bang out a bunch of notes. Arthur was struggling with alcohol. I had the unique experience of being a rock star's wife that had no money. He was in several other bands. Uh, I couldn't get off with the booze. I had no money. We had no friends. He started to beat me with the cat furniture. I left him, and that's when he jumped out the kitchen window. I'm demoted from rock star to schlep on the bus. Where's Arthur tonight? Oh, you know, he couldn't make it out. He's got church in the morning. Church? Wait, you know, what are you talking about? I remember he said he had a band. That's all he had on his mind is getting the dolls back together. Oh, Arthur, I understand you'll be in town playing Marcy's Meltdown Festival this summer. He was so full of doubt. For 30 years, I've been ignored and been living in obscurity. Arthur had been out of music for a while. He hasn't played with these guys in 30-something years. They're always asking, can Arthur play? Can Arthur play? I'm still lost. I said, Arthur, people love the dolls, and they want it to happen. <laughs> All of the cards are being laid out on the table, just, you know, right. it's something that's meant to be. Can't believe I know a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a dreamer, but the dream has come true. I'm a little bit old, but then I can still be a groupie, I guess. <laughs>